just getting set up here on the live stream today. So as we do that, let's pop out my chat. You can uh, hop in the chat if you are there. And talk about craft three and the changes to multi-site. Or actually, we're just going to look at multi-site and see what's going on with that. Hello, Doug. Thanks for hopping on. We're going to go over some multi-site stuff today. I'm just actually just doing a little audio check, make sure that it is loud enough. So let me know. So we have uh, Craft uh, 3 RC11 that just came out today. And there's been some... Uh, I guess some pretty big changes to multi-site. I don't want to go over those. I haven't documented those anywhere except in the in the actual documentation. I can pull that up here uh, in the craft documentation. Let me pull off this logo really quick. There we go. Um, in the documentation, we've added the sites section here which now covers uh, this new and improved way of handling multi-site. And the big sort of thing here, the biggest change is uh, it's been simplified. You don't have to create multiple web directories anymore for each of your sites. So craft, you don't have to mess with the craft site global. Uh, craft will uh, smartly recognize what site you're requesting and then display that based on your settings in inside of craft. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of um, almost just all like control panel configuration. There's still some stuff you have to do. Obviously, you have to point domains and um, make sure your web server is set up to accept requests for that, um, that domain as well as nowhere to point it. But everything on the craft side, you know, all that stuff you have to do with every site, but everything on the craft side, you were actually getting, um, you were able to do all on the control panel, which is a a bit of a switch. And that's that's not for like, you know, subdomained, or not subdomains, a subdirectory sites. This is for, you know, subdomain sites, completely different domain sites, is all able to have just uh, pretty much 100% control panel configuration now. So, um, so yes, yeah, so you can uh, hop in the chat if uh, if you want. I have it popped out so I can uh, see what's going on with it. And while continuing to do my stuff here, um, let's see. All right. So let me just drop into here. Just post a Slack. All right, so we're gonna keep moving on. So we're gonna cover uh, the changes here in Craft 3.0 RC11. I mean, the, really the big things are, that we're gonna talk about here, there's some other things as well, but uh, are no longer needing Craft site. And you don't have to basically like duplicate your web directory, create a new index.php file, um, Craft's going to detect this all automatically for you. And so those are the things we're going to talk about here. If you want to check out what's changed in Craft 3 RC11, you can check out the change logs. Looks like there's quite a few bugs fixed as well. But we're going to focus on the multi-site stuff. If you want to follow along, you can go to the official docs to, uh, it's 
part of the GitHub project. So it's github.com slash craft CMS slash docs. And then go to the sites uh, documentation. And there's a uh, section on uh, just the basics about sites and as well as a guide at the bottom on setting up a new multi-site. As well as, because they're related, I probably won't cover it, um, it just depends on time. As well as localization, there is a new guide on setting up a localized site. And, uh, you know, local, localized sites and sites and like multi-site are, are pretty much the same thing. They're all based on, or the localized site is based on multi-site. So uh, the guide kind of points you back over to the multi-site setup, and then you can continue on if you need to set up a, a multi-language site. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, hop over to my terminal app. Let me make this a little bit bigger so it can be seen. And uh, let's go ahead and first um, we're going to make a a new directory. Um, we'll call this one. Uh, Let's say, um, let's call it uh, site one. So I'll go into there and it's empty of course. And I'll create a new craft project. So we'll do composer create project. We're gonna do this all from scratch. Just kind of step through everything. So composer create project, craft CMS, um, CMS and then do that in here, and then the stability will be RC. So hopefully we'll get the latest uh, RC, which should be 11. There it is, all right. slow today. There we go. All right, so I did my common mistake here. Um, force. There we go, let me try this again. Make the directory. Uh, so what I did is I actually pulled down the source repository instead of actual um, craft. So I did that, oops, I did CMS. All right, so we're getting RC11. I just saw that, all right, so. Now we're set, we get our little Star Wars logo, so we can now continue with our setup. We'll do craft setup. Uh, we're using uh, MySQL, localhost 3306, no password, and then the database name. Let me just quickly, uh, Create the uh, database here. Did not yet do that. So I'm just gonna add a quick database called site one. Of course, it's all gonna be the same database, but we'll just call this one site one. No prefix, so we are ready to install. This would be called site one. And remember when we're doing multi-site and we know that we're gonna set up multi-site, what we set up as our first site when we install craft is going to be the default site. So any of the site name that we give it will be the name of that site, but its handle will be default. And in this case, we'll say it is site1.dev. And it's gonna run the setup script I'm just doing this from the command line. Of course, we can do this from uh, the web browser as well. 
All right, now I'm going to just take a look here. All right, go into web. It's my web directory. We only need now one with the new multi-site setup. And now I'm going to uh, just set up my local hosting here. So I'm gonna say valet link, I'm using valet here. Site one, so we can link it up to site one. And then we're gonna secure it as well. That's gonna restart PHP and Nginx. And if I do open site1.dev slash admin. All right, let's see. Oh, it should be installed. Let me check this. That looks good. All right, I wonder why that is. Let's see. Yeah, that all should be done already. Let me take a look here. Um, hmm. Let me just try something really quick. Site one, that looks good. Interesting, I wonder why that didn't write. Just gonna move back out. Let me just check my environment file here. Yeah, that looks right. That looks right. What I did, why is that not happening? So let me just see what it is here. Thirty-three zero six root database name. Oh, interesting. The MySQL server has gone away. All right, let's see. I might have to restart MySQL. All right, why is it say we're having MySQL issues here? Let's see. All right, we're not running there. That's good. Restart it really quick, see if that'll help. Hmm. Kill is dead. All right. So I may have to uh, stop the stream and restart this because it, it doesn't seem to want to, my school doesn't seem to want to restart for me right now. Which is frustrating. Let me try one more thing. I've had MySQL crash a fair amount recently, and so I haven't.
So we'll try it in. We'll try it through MAMP just to see if we can get that working. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, stop the stream, restart, and I'll be back. Sorry about that. That's a little frustrating, but I'm going to need to reset my system. <laughs> 